Hey, I just... Alright, I just sent uh, a case of the Serona US Demo Lab. It's uh, Alan Krauss, so just uh, make sure you verify it. I'm going to continue setting up. I'm going to bring the machine to the other room because uh, he has a hard wire connection in his lunchroom. So we're just going to have to wheel it back here to send it. So just verify that you uh, received the case. The first step to uh, getting an accurate digital impression is proper isolation, and the next step is proper powdering. And Dr. Rice is going to demonstrate that now. It's a light coating, and it actually acts as an opaquing agent to give you a quicker and more accurate restoration. Excellent imaging, nice and smooth. And then one more distal and you should be all set. Perfect. That's it. And ready to do the closing arc. Mm -hmm. Do the upper. And we're just going to a quick spray across the occlusal surface. Get, try to get that cusp there. Perfect. Done. Done that. Excellent. Very smooth, very easy. Now we can go ahead and do the light. And we're going to do that without the suction in, right? Yeah. Because we really can't. Okay, bite together. This is to get the teeth together. The last picture we need. Is it usually better to leave the powder on and just... Yeah, you know, when doing the buckle bite, at this point, you the powder, you want to leave some of the powder there. So just so you don't have to put that much. Time, yeah. They bite together. But yeah, for this process, if you want to just try to do it clean, that's fine. I can spray a little bit on. I, I just, just want to kind of make sure it's dry. I would just do... Is it dry? I don't know. You want to get it. There you go. Done. Is it enough? Yep, that's enough. And that's the full digital process. Relax down.
you did a great job. Yes. <laughs> cool. And we'll just keep videotaping this so we can show them how to. Great. Now this is and and one thing every patient look at where her head goes they they love this. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a look at that and we're just going to match this to here. Put it to there. You want to get it in the same plane. Now we're virtually articulated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look here. Looks good. What we're going to do is we're going to trace our margin. Double click. Auto margin finder. We'll wrap it right around. Margin is traced. Now, do you want to take a look at that and make sure you're comfortable with that? The only place maybe on the distal, maybe the margin might be out a little bit further than that. The mesial looks good. Right here, I can see it. Right in there. Is that it's hard to tell? Yeah, yeah, I can fix it. Let me just swing it around. There's a pretty big space in the mesial. Is that why I always used to get food caught there? Like yes. the positioning of my teeth. Tooth is a little more distal, yes. Huh. Interesting. How does that look like? Now again, it's the lab is gonna do the final adjustments, but for the most part, as long as you're there. It looks good. It's possible on the distal that the line is below my margin. It's hard to tell the uh, the line might be a little bit higher right okay, there. Yeah. See it? Like, yep. Yes. Now I can actually see it. Hold on, let me just get in there. You want it up a little bit, right? Maybe. I mean, look pretty close. I think that looks right on. Again, the lab is going to do the final adjustments. They just want a, 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 a realistic outline of what you're doing. So if you're like, all right, that looks pretty good, the lab's going to take that, and they have finer tools that actually zoom in and be able to find to it. Okay. So that's it, and then at this point, we're going to hit the connect file, and it's going to virtually send it over to there. So let's turn this off, and then we can kind of videotape um, All right. in the other room. In the other room connecting. From like to plug, from plug to plug. Um, all right, you ready? Mm-hmm. At this point, you're going to bring up your Sarah Connect portal, and this portal allows you free access to all of your participating labs, and especially the lab that we're going to be a part of the network of. So what you're going to do is you have your own personal login, you type in the password, and you just hit OK. Here's our case. All the information that we entered in before is going to be forwarded on, and you just go through each tab. Uh, today is the... Today's the 8th, so we're actually going to get it back today. We're going to say 8 o'clock, 8th. We want it back at 12 p.m. Additional information. At this point, you can add in any instructions you want to the lab. You can also add in additional files, also um, intro or images for proper color matching. I can give you the script. And one thing to keep in mind is that while you're actually doing this, the file is also already in the upload process. 
So by the time you're finished with the online prescription, the file will be ready to send. Click. Add to cart. Not like this, right? Mm -hmm. um, after the file's uploaded, you hit submit to cart. You can type in your password for your own personalized account. Hit OK. And it's, it's ordered and we're all set. You can actually view your order. We should be good. And then I should have just gotten an email saying, just got an email saying that my order has been placed. So you're kept in the loop of when your order's been placed. All right, should be all set. Make sure